Hello students, welcome to the session on environmental science. I am Shalendra Darekar, Assistant Professor at AISSMS, College of Hotel Management and Catering Technology. Before begin the new session, let us revise the previous session in which we have learned conservation of forest, relationship between deforestation and biodiversity, relationship between deforestation and tribal population, mineral resource, use of minerals, exploitation of minerals and its effects, environmental damages caused by mining activities. So let us begin with today's session with the objectives. Today we are going to learn what is food resource, different types of food supply, world food problems, types of nutrition, over greasing, agriculture types, effect of agriculture and over greasing, water lodging, salinity, world food problem and environmental concerns, food security. Let's begin the introduction of forest resource. Food is essential for growth and development of living organism. These essential materials are called nutrients and these nutrients are available from various variety of animals and plants. There are thousands of edible plants and animals over the world out of which only about three dozen types of constitute major food of humans. The majority of people obtain food from cultivated plants and domesticated animal. Although some food is obtained from ocean and fresh water, the majority of food for human population is obtained from traditional land-based agriculture of crops. Food is an essential requirement for survival of life. Main components are carbohydrates, fats, protein, minerals and vitamins. Let's see the types of food supply. First one, crop plants. Grain mostly constitute about 76% of world food. Examples are rice, wheat and maize. Second one, rangelands. It produces 17% of world food from tree and grazing animal. Examples are fruit, milk and meat. Then we have ocean where we get seafood which is 7% of world food. Let's understand what are the problems of food in the world. In the earth surface 79% is water out of total area where 21% is land. There is less percent cultivated land and population is increasing day by day in the world. This leads to shortage of food in the world. Environmental degradation like soil erosion, water lodging, water pollution affects agricultural land. Urbanization affects agricultural land, hence production of rice, wheat, corn and other vegetables is difficult. Let's see the types of nutrition. Nutritious nutri nutrition to maintain good health and disease resistance, we need large amount of carbohydrate, protein, fat and smaller amount of micronutrients such as vitamin and minerals. Food and Agriculture Organization of United Nations estimated that on an average the minimum calories intake of on global state is 2500 calories per day. Under nutrition. People who cannot buy enough food to meet their basic energy needs suffer from undernutrition. They receive less than 90% of this minimum dietary calories. Effect of undernutrition suffer from mental predation and infectious disease. Let us understand what is malnutrition. Besides minimum calories intake, we also need protein, minerals, vitamin, iron and iodine. Deficiency lead to malnutrition resulting in several disease. First one, edema, which is a lack of sufficient protein in the diet which leads to a failure of neutral development and therefore learning 
disabilities anemia it is caused by lack of iron in the diet or due to an inability to absorb iron from food the india have third largest producer of crop nearly 300 million indians are still under nourished world food summit in 1996 where the F world food summit in 1996 has set the goal to reduce the number of under nourished and mal nourished people to just half by 2015 now let's understand what is overgrazing it is a process of eating the forest vegetation without giving a chance to regenerate what is the effect of overgrazing first one land degradation then overgrazing removing the cover of vegetation expose soil and get compacted soil moisture reduce desertification overgrazing leads to poor dry and compact soil land cannot be used for further cultivation soil erosion when the grazing are removed the soil become loose and get destroyed by the action of wind and rainfall loss of useful species overgrazing affect the plant population and their regeneration capacity overgrazing replaces the plant of high nutrient value with plant of low nutrient value the carrying capacity of land for cattle depends upon microclimate and soil fertility if carrying capacity is exceeded then land is overgrazed cattle trampling leads to land degradation let us understand what is agriculture and different types of agriculture agriculture is an art science and an industry of managing the growth of plants animal for human use it includes cultivation of the soil growing and harvesting crops breeding and raising livestock there are two types of agriculture land traditional agriculture and modern or industrialized agriculture let's see what is traditional agriculture small plot simple tools surface water organic fertilizer and a mixture of crop constitute traditional agriculture they produce enough food to feed their family and to sell it for their income modern agriculture hybrid seeds of a single crop variety high tech equipment lot of fertilizers pesticides and water to produce large amount of single crops let's understand what is the effect of modern agriculture problems in using fertilizers excess of fertilizers causes micronutrient imbalance example punjab and haryana deficiency of nutrient zinc in the soil affect the productivity of the soil blue baby syndrome nitrogen present in the fertilizer causes blue baby blue baby syndrome when the amount exceed the limit leads to death over enriching of water with nutrition nitrogen and phosphorus in the crop field wash out by run of water in the water bodies which increase the new nourishment of the lake hence the various species increase rapidly life time of the species is less and they decompose easily and pollute the water which affect the aquatic life second point problem in using pesticides death of non target organism producing new pest or super pest bio magnification most of the pesticides are non biodegradable keep on concentrating in the food chain and it is harmful to human being risk of cancer it directly act as a poison it indirectly support immune system water lodging land where water stand for most of the year it water lodging let's understand the change causes by agriculture and overgrazing from centuries agriculture is providing inputs to large number of industry involved in production processing and distribution of food accordingly agriculture has significant effect on environment 
the effect of agriculture on environment can be classified as local regional and global level the agriculture also makes impact of the uses of land generally as follows first one deforestation soil erosion depletion of nutrients impact of related to high yield varieties fertilizers related problem include macronutrient imbalance and nitrate pollution pesticide related problem include creating resistance in pest and producing new pest death of non targeted organism biological magnification some of other problem include water lodging salinity problem and such others let us understand water lodging high water table or surface flow flooding can cause water lodging problem water lodging may leads to poor crop productivity due to anaerobic condition created in the soil in india deltas of gangas andaman and nicobar island and some areas of kerala are prone to frequent water lodging what are the causes of water lodging first one excessive water supply heavy rain poor drainage what are the remedies for water lodging preventing excessive irrigation sub surface drainage technology bio drainage let's understand what is salinity due to adaptation of intensive agriculture practices and increased concentration of soluble salt leads to salinity due to the poor drainage dissolved salt accumulate on soil surface and affects soil fertility excess concentration of this salt may form a crust on the surface is major injurious to the plant the water absorption process is affected and uptake of nutrient in disturb according to an estimate in india 7 million hectare of land in saline and area is showing is increasing trends due to adoption of intensive agriculture practices let us understand various world food problem and environmental concerns population growth food production in the developing countries is lagging behind their population growth level poor agriculture practices poor environmental agriculture practices such as slash and burn shifting cultivation or rab which is also called wood ash cultivation degrade forest degradation of agriculture lands Globally 5 to 7 million hectare of farm land is degraded each year loss of nutrient and overuse of agricultural chemicals are major factor in land degradation next point what is scarcity it is an important aspect of poor agriculture output salinization and water lodging has affected a large amount of agricultural land worldwide or fertilized soil are being exploited faster than they can recover forest grassland and wetland have been converted to agriculture use which has lead to serious ecological questions use of genetically modified seeds variety without minding the conducive environment for such experimentation will seriously affect the land ecosystem our fish resource both marine and inland show evidence of exhaustion there are great discrepancy in the availability of nutrient food some communities such as tribal people still face serious food problem leading to malnutrition especially among women and children loss of genetic diversity modern agriculture practice have result in serious loss of genetic variability of crops india's distinctive traditional variety of rice alone are said to have number between 30 to 50000 most of these have been lost to the farmer during the last few decade 
as malnutrition said companies push a few commercial types this create a risk to our food security as farmer can lose all the produce due to rapidly spreading disease a cereal that has multiple variety growing in different location does not permit the rapid spread of disease let's understand what is food security it is the ability of all people at all time to access enough food for an active and healthy life it is estimated that 18 million people worldwide most of whom are children die each year due to starvation or malnutrition and many others suffer a variety of dietary deficiency the earth can only supply a limit amount of food if the world carry capacity to produce food cannot meet the needs of a growing population conflict will follow the following three condition must be fulfilled to ensure food security in the world first one food must be available second each person must have access to it third one the food utilized must fulfill nutritional requirement food security is closely linked with the population control through the family welfare program it is also linked to availability of water for farming food security is only possible if food is equitably distributed to all many of us waste a large amount of food carelessly this eventually lay greater stress on our environmental resource institutional support for smaller farmers a major concern is the support needed for smaller farmer so that they remain farmers rather than shifting to urban centers as unskilled industrial worker trade related issue international trade policies is regards to an improved flow of food across national borders from those who have surplus to those who have a deficit in the developing world in is another issue that is concern for planners who deal with international trade concerns dumping of underpriced food stuff produced in the developed world onto markets in undeveloped countries undetermined price and force farmers there to adopt unsustainable practices to compete next point protecting genetic diversity the most economical way to prevent loss of genetic diversity is by expanding the network and coverage of our protected area collection in inheritory seeds banks and tissue culture facilities are other possible way to prevent vanishing but are extremely expensive the most effective method to introduce desirable traits into crops is by using characterized found in the wild relatives of crop plants this variety are rapidly disappearing once they are lost their dis- desirable character cannot be introduced when found necessary in future ensuring long term food security may depend on conserving wild relatives of crop plants in national park and wildlife sanctuaries if plant genetic losses worldwide are not slow down some estimated show that as many as 60000 plant species which account up for 25% of the world total will be lost by the year 2020-15 scientists now believe that the world will soon need a second green revolution which will meet our future demand of food based on new ethic of land and water management environmental friendly farming method shifting from chemical agriculture to organic farming practicing integrated nutrient management integrated pest management will lead to a successful farming several crops can be grow in urban setting including vegetable and fruits which can be grow on waste household water and fertilizers from vermicompost pits 
population control most importantly food supply is closely linked to the effectiveness of population control program worldwide prevention of water and land degradation population of water resource land degradation and desertification must be rapidly revised adapting soil conservation measure using appropriate farming technique especially on hill watershed at the macro level are key to agriculture produ production to meet future needs education educating women about nutrition who are more closely involved in feeding the family is an important part of supporting food needs security of many developing countries changing food habit today the world is seeing a change trend in dietary habits as living stands are improving people are eating more non vegetarian food as people change from eating grain to meat the world demand to feed for livestock based on agriculture increase as well this uses more land and water per unit of food produce and the result is that the world poor do not get enough to eat women play an extremely vital role in food production as well as cooking the meal and feeding children in most rural communities they have the least exposure to technical training and to health workers training in teaching learning on issues related to nutritional accept women and girls frequently receive less food than the men this disparities need to be corrected individual person should act sensible towards conservation of food resources by following way such as cooking require amount of food don't waste the food give it to someone before spoiling don't store large amount of food grain and protect them from damaging insects now let us recap what we have learned in this session we have seen what is food resource different types of food supply world food problems types of nutrition over grazing various types of agriculture effect of agriculture and over grazing water lodging salinity we also seen world food problem and environmental concern we saw lastly food security thank you